हेलो वेलकम टू माय स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मीजल्स इन द सीरीज ऑफ कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस दिस लेक्चर इज इन इंग्लिश एंड इफ यू वांट टू स्टडी इन हिंदी जस्ट क्लिक ऑन आई बटन एंड यू विल गेट लिंक ऑफ हिंदी लेक्चर और यू कैन डायरेक्टली विजिट टू माई चैनल माई स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम वॉट इज मीजल्स Measles is an acute highly communicable viral disease which is identified by fever conjunctivitis coryza cough and small spots with white or bluish white centers on an erythromatous base on the buccal mucosa and which is known as coplic spot What is the causative agent of measles? Measles is a viral disease, and the new virus is measles virus. This virus is a member of genus Moribilli virus of the family Paramyxovirus or viridae. Source of infection. The only source of infection is the case of measles. So it is clear that the patients of measles are the source of infection from where the infection starts spreading how it spreads the transmission occur directly from person to person mainly by droplet infection or droplet nuclei from the four days before the onset of rash and until four day thereafter the client is infective means he can spread infections to others incubation period incubation period is commonly 10 days from exposure that is for onset of fever and 14 days for the appearance of rashes what are the signs and symptoms of measles based on the signs and symptoms there are three stages of measles which are pre eruptive stage eruptive stage and post measles stage what is pre eruptive stage pre eruptive means before eruption of rashes this stage begins 10 days after infection and lasts until 14 days it is characterized by fever coryza sneezing and nasal discharge or running nose cough redness in the eyes lacrimation and often photophobia there is appearance of a rash known as coplic spot on the buccal mucosa which are like table salt crystals and they are at the level of normally first and second lower molars they are small bluish white spot on a red base and smaller than the head of a pin in the eruptive stage normally this eruptive stage starts 4 days after the pre eruptive stage this phase is characterized by the eruption of rashes and these rashes are red macular or macular papular rash which begins behind the ears and spreads rapidly in a few hours over the face and neck and extends down to the whole body in 2 to 3 days then post middle stage starts in post middle stage middle stage the child will have loss of weight and is very weak for a number of days there may be growth retardation and diarrhea cankerum oris pyogenic infections and presence of opportunistic infections this stage remains for up may be up to 21 to 23 days and after 21 to 23 days the child starts recovering and rashes starts 
to disappear but sometimes the child may go into the com into complications the most common complications are measles associated diarrhea pneumonia and other respiratory complications as well as otitis media diagnostic investigations diagnosis of measles is based on the signs and symptoms which are typical such as presence of complex spot rashes and sometime lab investigations for detecting igm antibodies in the blood is also used for the diagnosis of measles now we come to treatment normally in the measles or in many uh, viral diseases we uh, uh, there is no need for treatment only supportive treatment is given what is supportive treatment just just uh, uh, medicines for fever for coryza and proper nursing care so that the client become uh, better and moving in the bed and uh, to lessen the irritation from the rashes bed nursing care and skin care is uh, given no special treatment is recommended for measles sometimes vitamin a is recommended because there is vitamin a depletion in case of uh, measles and main attention is given to prevent the spread of this measles to other children so this is the very important part of treatment how we can prevent vaccination is the best system to prevent measles measles vaccine is available as measles only vaccine or in combination with rubella such as mr and with rubella and mumps as mmr first dose is given at the 9 months as mr and normally second dose is given at 15 months and at that time we can give mmr and if not available then we can also give mr second dose health education by health departments health personnel private physicians whoever get the opportunity should provide health education regarding prevention of measles and immunization of all children and infants reporting and notification of the measles to local health authority provides opportunity for the better outbreak control and children with measles should if practicable they should kept out of school and for at least for 4 days after appearance of rashes as isolation measure to prevent spread of infection to other children thank you students for watching this video you can subscribe the channel so that you can get notification for latest updates you can like facebook page and for making your notes visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com and here here you can find the contents you can follow me on twitter instagram and join facebook group nursing notes thank you have a nice day